I work work for a Spanish company uh, and we do engineering stuff uh, with critical infrastructures and we are very worried about that but we, we, we weren't very worried about how to tell people about security so this is a real case we, we had uh, one year before uh, one day I went to the office and my assistant told me Coldo, run, you have to go to Madrid the president called you and you weren't here <laughs> Um, it's something very important, but we don't know what, what, what happened. So you have a, a flight just in one hour. So I, I have to go to Madrid, uh, completely knock. I'm very worried because I, I thought I, I was going to be fired. <laughs> when I reached Madrid, the president told me that 400 key euros were, were scammed using his identity. And, and I said, oh, that, that's not possible. Uh, um, okay. we, we start investigating, and the males were attacking one of our subsidiaries in Portugal with a fake domain, very, very similar to our main domain, elegnor.com. I, I can uh, explain exactly the domain because we are under investigation right now with Europol and and Interpol. So if you want to, to check the notes later, we, we can do it after the presentation. Uh, the money was transferred to a Chinese bank in, in Hungary by one of the main directors of Portugal subsidiary. And in the mails, in every mail we, we investigate, there was also a copy, a CC, to a fake lawyer domain but the, the page was completely like the original, using LinkedIn profiles, original. Pictures of the people, the story of the people. Uh, after the investigation, we are, we are uh, contacting them because they stole everything about their life, their work, the, the pictures, pictures from the Instagram, everything. Um, this was another, another domain. The PT uh, was a, a nightmare. One of the, our lawyer department called and phoned the, the scammers, very, very upset because it was a very, very big scam and destroyed all our work of the investigation. Because we were working like four or five weeks, four or five weeks, and they disappeared. After the call, in some two or three hours, they disappeared. The web were, were taken down. The domains was impossible to track. Uh, the phones number were well disconnected. So I call my, my friend and colleague, Lorenzo Martinez, who is a very reputable uh, uh, hacker and speaker from Spain also. We studied together in the university because we were completely lost with the investigation. And surprisingly, he told me he was researching the same, working to, to make a completely anonymous domain registration process not able to track and for APT purpose, exploitation purpose. Uh, and I thought he was the one scamming because it was in the same period, just the same month we were investigating, Lorenzo was doing a private work for a private company that is going to, to explain right now. Well, uh, this is myself. Uh, I have no time, so ask me about me later. <laughs> the background about this is uh, when Coldo called me, um, in fact, I was not doing that job for a private, even for a new experiment. Uh, why? Because uh, for my, in my company, uh, we have been hired, hired to uh, make a real EPT to another company. So with the previous analysis and the experience, uh, we wanted to test uh, what would happen in a, public, uh, in a public company. In this case, uh, we, do it, we have done it uh, to a public sector in Spain, the ministries. So as I am a Spanish citizen, let's try there. So uh, I apologize for the resolution, but I, I will try to, to tell it anyway. So in my case, uh, what I needed, I needed to create a new digital identity. Uh, in this case, uh, created a girl identity. It's easier to, to cheat, uh, you know, <laughs> men. So <laughs> in this case, uh, what I needed is a, a, normal, uh, a normal email address, Outlook or Gmail, but Outlook or Gmail request, request you uh, to set an, 
a phone number or another uh, email address. So I created one in hashmail.com. Uh, all the, the, the steps I have done in the internet, uh, I, at the beginning I used public, wireless, or lent, uh, not my neighbors, but others, uh, <laughs> uh, Wi-Fi networks, okay? So I created a, a Bitcoin wallet in blockchain. Perfect, and the point is how to fill the blockchain uh, the, the Bitcoin uh, wallet with real money. Okay, so if I do it at a transference with my credit card, it will be a track. So what I have done is I went to, um, to a place where people uh, used uh, to, to call, um, you know, to foreign people used to call to their countries. I don't know the locutorio is in Spanish. I don't remember the name in English. And there I have bought Ucash codes with real money, with money, uh, with notes. So after that, there is some kind of uh, web who allows you to move your cash codes to Bitcoins. It gives you uh, a good cut on the money. It, uh, it uh, uh, has a high commissions, but that way you have money, that have money in Bitcoins. The point is if you have stolen to an old girl uh, the bag with her, with her money, you can convert money to UCAS and to Bitcoins anonymously. So now what? Now what I have done is to uh, buy a service in iPredator. iPredator is a VPN service in Sweden uh, that allows you to connect anonymously to Sweden and navigate uh, all your traffic from Sweden to the internet. This stuff I have, uh, you know, I have um, joined with different techniques. So in this case, I was uh, pretty quiet, pretty relaxed that I was not being traced. Uh, I needed a free website. Uh, I have uh, done it in 00webhost.com. It's a free, web, a free website service uh, with PHP and everything I needed to do to, to set the poison I needed for the next step. So who are we going to cheat? Something like this. To do this, what are we going to do? To do? Use these two uh, words that if they are in the same sentence are even more effective. So in my case, I created a LinkedIn profile. Okay, I created a LinkedIn profile always through the VPN channel I said, I said before. Uh, f first of everything, check your IP address. I'm not saying do this, but I have done. Uh, check your IP address, sites like uh, which is my IP address.com or something to know that you are uh, going out through the VPN and not, um, and not uh, ma masking your website, your IP address. Browsing porn mode, some browsers say private mode, but you know internet what it's for, so, <laughs> okay. And fill with crap network traffic, so peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, download a huge discography, movies, etc. and share it for everybody, and at least the guy who has to, to deal with the, with the traffic will have a lot of traffic, and inside that, uh, yours will go. An email address to create a profile, okay? And the profile you need uh, a name, a normal name. We want not to be uh, in. We want to be anonymous. We want to be m the most normal people. A picture. Be careful with the metadata. Uh, and create a past and present something uh, that say, that sounds believable. And in the personal website that uh, LinkedIn allows you to use, uh, there will be the poison uh, we will use. So, how far do we wanna go? Okay, in the malicious website uh, extracting, we will have the normally the day, the IP address, the referrer, the user agent, and that's the normal stuff we have in the in the logs of the web server. But I want to have the versions of the plugins installed on the machine. Plugins like Java, Shockwave, Flash, etc., Real Player, etc. Why? Because you know that using that uh, information, we will be able to exploit or to use, uh, if, if, they, if we know that they are not updated, or even they are, but using some kind of zero day, uh, we will be uh, farther. So this is the profile I created, okay? In my case, uh, well, a, a nice girl, you know, uh, with a, a normal, a normal um, position in the um, in employment and social security ministry in Spain, normal. Her email and below this 
the website personal website goes to the to the um, to the poison site so we are uh, playing with the curiosity of people so what we are saying is okay if this girl is like it looks okay let's go to the personal website if we can maybe we can find more pictures okay so good uh, <laughs> so the strategy well to sum up uh, a lot of social engineering i have to do uh, uh, different techniques like tip, tip of squatting, like the ones uh, used to, to, to cheat Coldo, Coldo's company, sorry, not Coldo. <laughs> and, and using, I know, for example, uh, you can uh, use instead of uh, I, capital I, and L instead of, okay, so that's kind of tip of squatting. Um, I have now a bunch of po powerful government LinkedIn contacts in this fake profile. And I had a lot of poker games opened, you know, because it's like uh, to connect to IRC, it's faking you are a woman. Poof, a lot of people want to know you. So, yeah, yeah every, everyone has done that. It's okay. <laughs> but when we were 15 and now, and, and I've done it when I was 35, so that's okay. Anyway, uh, a lot of funny times and a lot of IP addresses and information and uh, plugin versions, etc., uh, from the, the ministries of my country. So what else I could have done? Okay, uh, what I could do is to to buy with bitcoins the domain name j0b.es. J0b in Spain, uh, every ministry website ends in gob.es. Gob. Okay, so g0b.es was available. I said was because now it isn't because I have it. So of course, but but with bitcoins. I could have a, um, a BPS uh, with uh, three dollars per month with bitcoins, of course. Even uh, they are set all these kind of methods, and uh, you can see it. But the the BPS is in Holland, and the company is in Dubai. So it's very well done. You know, it's it's done for what it is. Okay. So what I could do? First of all, I could customize. The easiest way is to use a browser out upon, and that's it. Let's see uh, when, the, when people, victims connect to the website, let the, the out upon pawn them. But uh, as I have the user agents, and I have uh, everything to move people to, the, to, the, to customize websites with the right exploit I want to test, okay, let's go. Uh, for Windows, for Java, Flash, Silverlight, I have information from the versions used, so perfect. iOS, at that time, uh, the version that was being, uh, the, the, up, the, the most updated version was 7.1.2, but a lot of people was browsing with 7.1.1. And from 7.1.1 to 7.1.2, there was 14 uh, security patches applied. So a lot of stuff to be done here. Timeout-based phishing, uh, valid URL in title, different stuff I could do. So if you see here, here is the, the, the website of the, the ministry, okay? The ministry I was working, fake it, for. So, <laughs> and I've, I have a cloned with set, and of course, as you see here, j0b.es. Why? Because playing with people, mind, uh, it was not going to be so difficult to say, okay, if you go to this place and to click datos.gov.s, okay, you will go to my datos.gov.s, like this one. So here, you don't see it, but there are applications for mobile phones, okay? And what I could say, okay, let's go to this one called Balnearios de España, Spine Balnearies. As I am a attractive and sexy girl, what I can say, maybe, to somebody who has, uh, to some friend, LinkedIn friend, is, oh, I have been, you know, uh, for one month visiting different balnearies, and then the next version I will appear in some pictures uh, in the swimming pool. Wow. Who will not click? Okay, I am totally sure that somebody will. <laughs> and, and I say, okay, let's go to this one because uh, it, this is the beta version. So, but download this APK that is totally safe. It will say it's not right, it's signed normal because it's not signed by Google, it's signed by the ministry. But no, no problem, no problem. Okay, and you will say, 
okay, but this was not HTTPS. What if the main, if the website of the ministry website was with uh, HTTPS? No problem. There are places where you can buy with bitcoins a valid certificate for every browser. And finally, what I could do, what I have done, is a call spoofing. A call spoofing is, is a very interesting technique if uh, the, the, your target is not believing who you are. You don't believe me? Okay, I will call you from my ministry, okay? So, of course, in the paranoid way, of course, in anonymous way. How? Using a predator, Wi-Fi. I predator connection to Sweden, okay. And Google Hangouts Dialer allows you to call free, uh, for free uh, to a uh, US uh, number. Perfect. A spoof card. A spoof card is a service in the internet that allows you to pay with bitcoins, of course, uh, credits. And you can set a call saying the source, uh, the, the caller ID will be uh, the, the number of my ministry. Okay, and you can uh, set my voice uh, like a female and uh, uh, record the call. So let's see what happened. Hola, ¿qué tal? 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 ¿Qué <laughs> well, the point is, uh, I faked the call. Uh, I uh, made the guy to to believe that I was calling him. Uh, from uh, the, the, the ministry, uh, the ministry uh, building with the number that appears in the website. So uh, after that, that guy said that he was going to give me a present and that stuff. Oh, yes, yeah, we will see. Okay, not today because uh, just this is a call just to make you trust me. That's it. Okay. So, so conclusions. Uh, after the investigation, we discovered some mails with very low technology from the past, six months or eight months before, from Hotmail, saying just the same. Uh, I'm the president of Elegnor. Please, uh, I need you to, to sell me this money for a secret operation we have in Hungary and so. Um, that was for, for six or eight months before. So it's a long period prior to scamming us. And we saw a big evolution in, in, in technology perspective. Uh, just from Hotmail, then back in the domain, hiding the domain, using a lot of uh, scam and social engineering to more than 25 subsidiaries of us were contact. And th thanks God, only one byte in, in Portugal. The other ones, the problem is the lack of communication because no one told us that for eight months or more, they were being contacted by scammers saying that they, Normally people say, oh, it's a scam, uh, delete, uh, or to a spam folder, and no one call us, the, the IT people, and say, oh, yeah, be careful, they are scamming us. They keep themselves, that, that's a problem. Um, as always, human being is always the, weak, the weakest link of the security chain. Uh, you can invest a lot of money, as we did, in firewalls and in, in other technologies, but people, you, you, ha you have to invest in people. People in security learning and people formation, that's all.